prideful sloth. And uh, to everybody that just saw that fantastic trailer, could you give us a one sentence summary of Go Go Town? Go Go Town is a chaotic and cozy town building and automation sim. That was succinct. I really like that. That's fantastic. So we got to chat last year and you know it was so cute getting to grips with Go Go Town. In the year since we spoke, you know, what have been the new developments? Well we released into early access, so that's been exciting. So that's a whole whole new challenge and a whole new experience. Um, otherwise we've just been continuing to make it better. Uh, I mean like the feedback's been great, the exposure coming to events like this, it's been fantastic for helping us just find our audience and work with them to make it better. Amazing. And so in terms of early access, what have been like the key parts of feedback that you've gotten from players? It's been really, it's been fantastic. We did play tests before that anyway for like eight months. So we've already had like almost a year of feedback leading up to early access. But hitting early access, you open up the floodgates to a whole bunch of new people as well too. And it's been great. The feedback's been really good. We're sitting 93% uh, positive rating. So I feel like that's a pretty good start. But there's still things we want to do and that's our community. So one of the things we found is initially we didn't have our roadmap set to expectations. So we put that to a poll to our players and said, okay, here's some options, what, what's gonna work for you? And they fed back on that. And so we've adapted that and rolled that into our roadmap and we're going with some of those sorts of things. So that's the type of feedback that's fantastic is where you're not quite hitting the mark. You, you talk to people and ask them, what do you want? And come back and you make that happen. Amazing. And so in terms of these features uh, that you'll be implementing, can you tell us about any of them? So in the next couple of weeks, we have a really exciting set of new features coming out and I'm showing them here at Gamescom in the Indie Arena booth that we have some customization, which is going to be huge because people can really change up the layout of their towns and how that flows. We have the subway system coming in so that we can move the NPCs around a giant map, which is also there, and which is exciting. It is so big now, the game world. And we have a whole bunch of really awesome content, just great decorations and new stuff coming in that people can play with, so. Oh, that sounds awesome. And so I would love to ask about like some of the considerations you had to take into place when implementing city planning and resource management. Yeah, so the big one is the save data. We, we do not want to break anybody's save and lose, like, they're towns that they put all that effort into, so that's actually one of the biggest ones that we always take into consideration. Otherwise, then we're just looking at things like trying to balance um, what types of things people want. Some people want really cozy cottage core, some people want you know like crazy space aliens, and so there's always the balance when we make all this stuff to try and make sure that we're hitting all the marks for all the different types of play people want when they get the content. Oh, that's amazing. Um, lastly, is there anything else that you want to highlight about Go Go Town? It's at an early access now and it's amazing. I love it. It's a great game. Um, I'm also biased, but the internet has also told us it's a great game, so they're probably biased too. <laughs> As they should. Thank you for that wonderful interview, Cheryl. And now, back to the show.